What's going on, y'all? This is Cypher from Barside TV, and I just got done listening to that Eminem album, The Death of Slim Shady Coop de Gras, last night. So today it is Saturday, and I want to give it a little time to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what we think about the uh, album one day later. Um, so I reviewed the album, I listened to it, I really liked it, and I enjoyed it. I don't really listen to Eminem albums like that, but um, I really did enjoy this one. Uh, if you enjoy good music, then you'll enjoy this album. I enjoy the album just as much as you would enjoy this channel. If you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications so you can see more great videos like this. Just throwing that in there like this. If you appreciate it, I thank you. I do appreciate it. Uh, yes, yeah, so the Eminem album was fire. It was good. The thumbnail wasn't a lie like most people's thumbnails are to overhype a certain event. It was actually a legit reaction. Uh, but the album was good. It told the story of a man who started off when, in satire and really been provoked uh, through hip hop cultures being somebody that wasn't ever good enough as somebody that shouldn't be talking about the things he's talking about as somebody that was white so he doesn't really get the privilege of saying he's one of the best to ever do it because he's taking our culture and making it his own and, 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 and using his white privilege to, uh, he's gone through all that and he explains that in the album, he explains his ups and downs, he explains his drug usage, his drinking, how he was with his daughter Haley, how he wasn't the best dad, he was never around, he really just devolves into his own inner self as a man, as opposed to the slim shady character that hip hop has made him to be. So what do I think of the album overall? I think it was epic, great storytelling, my bad, I didn't mean to hit the thing. Um, he also said on his Twitter. Uh, or actually on social media or whatever outlet that he let people know that they should listen to it in order from beginning to end and that's how I usually listen to albums anyway I don't just surf through them or randomly pick songs I look I go from beginning to end because I like albums that tell stories that's how I like to make my album sound I want it to have a story from beginning to end or I listen to it in chronological order and it was definitely well worth it I like the skits I like the transitions I like the flow I like the features with Jid and Skylar Gray and Big Sean and it was some really good features so I as a whole appreciated the album I thought the album really did Eminem justice for those who weren't sure about it and they thought it might be a hit or miss it was definitely a hit uh, I gave it 4.5 stars out of 5 just because of uh, preference base levels I would have gave, gave it a 5 if I was into all variations of Eminem's music but I'm not I'm not really a big fan of the huge uh, satire parody filled music art but I do respect it and appreciate it enough to say that it was uh, good music. Um, so I would have gave it a 4 if it wasn't the respect behind it. But the 4.5 is based on respect and that it wasn't bad. It was actually pointed and geared towards that fan base because you got you to gotta understand. Eminem has so many different demographics to tackle. He has real hip hop culture. He has OGs in the game that his, that's his age, his, his peers. He has the stands. He has the white boys that don't really listen to rap, but they listen to Eminem, so that's the exception. He has all these different areas to go you know, towards. So that's why I respect his uh, motives and I respect his idea of going that route with certain songs. So every song ain't gonna be a stand. Every song ain't gonna be a lose yourself. Some songs might be without me. Or, or, or Superman and stuff like that. So you have to understand. And after watching and listening to Houdini again, I really come to like it. I appreciate it a lot more. At first, I kind of dissed it a little bit, but I really do like Houdini. Houdini is a really great song, and it's rivaled by Toby. I put a poll up on my channel asking you all which song was better, Toby or Houdini. And now that I've heard Houdini again, I'm not too surprised at the split and how it was not too different from each other it was a it was very close to a 50 50 split with all the votes and at first i was like i thought toby was going to smash houdini in that category but it didn't it was a very uh, pick your poison type vibe because half the people like heavy satire like houdini and half people like heavy lyricism like toby so all the fans is there and the views there in the chat i appreciate you for stopping by in the chat i had a great time that was my first live stream album um wasn't sure that was going to turn out. I didn't know if it was going to be a thing. It looks like it's a thing. So be prepared to see me do that more often. Probably every Friday if there's a credible album to do. If you have any suggestions or, 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 or thoughts on albums that I can check out that makes sense. Please hit me up in the comments and I'll definitely heavily consider it. And you will, your pictures might be the next one for that next week. 
But uh, next week, we're definitely doing Childish Gambino's new album. Uh, it's called Bando Jones, Bando World, something like that. So a new album from Childish Gambino, and we'll definitely be doing that one. So please stay tuned and stick around for that. Um, so yeah, the Eminem album overall, dope album. I appreciate it. It was great. And yeah, I, it was dope. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next episode. Y'all have a great one. Peace.